OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. I'm Susan Coulter, and I'm one of the OTAN SMEs. And with me from Minnesota is Michelle Faber, and she is from Learn360. Okay. And uh, what can I tell you? If you want to um, check out our PowerPoint, and the way we set it up is everything that you need to know is on the PowerPoint. And um, but we're not going to stay with the PowerPoint all the time. We're going to go out from it. And the goal is that by the end of the presentation, you will have your own Learn360 account. That's the hope. We are going to try very hard to do that um, and just show you a lot of examples. So let's go. Um, whoa, I forgot about this. You don't need my notes. Um, this is one of my favorite graphics because it tells the many things that OTAN is doing, um, news and social media. Um, we've got the, <laughs> the uh, TVLS, which you're attending right now, so you're aware of that. Online resources and video presentations. This has actually changed uh, recently. Um, OTAN, OTAN Digest newsletters. Teaching with technology, which is an online database of <laughs> lesson plans. You should see all of them. They're amazing. Cool. Because Susan's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> and also professional development. I wonder, I think I still have to do this. Um, that didn't work. <laughs> no, it's this one. Okay. Um, our agenda is we're going to give you an overview of Learn360. Uh, we're going to give you some sample um, resources from ESL, ADE, ASE, CTE. Um, and then we're going to do an overview of classroom video on demand. And um, classroom video on demand is um, it's premium of that. Yeah. Um, and it is part of Learn360, although we seem to mention it as two separate things, but it's part of Learn360, but it's geared more to adult students, okay? A little more on the academic side. Um, some of the Learn360 activities are K-12. through um, They are, they, some of them seem a little childish. I mean, the first time I looked at it, but if you dig deeper, there's a lot. Um, then... Uh, we will do some examples from, from there, and then we're going to talk about how to search for resources. Uh, you can search for them by keyword, standard, and also using the advanced search. Um, and then how to share resources. Um, if you have a classroom that doesn't have internet, you can download them onto your laptop and go from there. Um, you can... Uh, Trying to think um, other ways you can share them are um, embed codes, links, email them. Um, there's all kinds of ways you can share a resource. Um, and then we're going to talk about accessing these resources in uh, OTAN's Canvas LMS. Okay, It has to be one from OTAN, but inside of Canvas, there is an app that directs uh, directly into um, Learn360. You can even search for videos um, right there. So it's really, it's, it's cool. And then <laughs> we want you to get your own free account. What? Darn. <laughs> it's great. How much does it cost? $3.99. <laughs> $3.99. gonna charge you. <laughs> I said $3.99. Oh, free 99. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm a little punchy today. <laughs> it's the end of the day. We're, right? we're all a little We tired. all are. We all are. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, this is 
just an overview. Um, I, I want to point this out. Uh, the 373,703, it changes every time you turn around. When I start, first started presenting uh, Learn360, it was at 94,000. Wow. It's gone a long way, a lot more resources, and it's just amazing. Um, and then across here, we have videos, games and activities, printables, audio, maps and flags. The mailbox is more for uh, K-12 uh, STEM lessons and premium content. Wow. So it's really kind of cool. Whoa, what happened there? Something went way too fast. Here we go. And uh, Michelle uh, created this beautiful um, slide. I only had about five on my, on my presentation before. But we want you to see some of the producers. Who's making these videos? Mm -hmm. And you've got National Geographic, BBC, a History Channel, um, a &E. Some of these are amazing. Of course, you also have Dr. Seuss. <laughs> but, you know, hey, why not? Yeah. It's great. All right. So first one I want to show you is called Can Do English. This is for ESL. And it is a series. There are 10 videos. And introducing yourself. Uh, changing contact information, discussing future plans, navigating passport port control, greeting old acquaintances. You can read it. But what they do is they play a scene, and it's uh, an animated scene, okay? And um, you hear them, and then they play it again with captions. And then they play, they talk about the different vocabulary words. So you've got vocabulary development, phrases, and they they actually um, go through the phrases and they'll talk about this a contraction, da 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 da, uh, what it means, and then they try it with different situations, which is really cool, and then they get practice. So kind of a cool series. Very comprehensive, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, say that, say that series again. It's the what series? I mean, I wrote down what it says there. English. So I just looked that up and I go. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Uh, and I'm going to do it in a minute. So. Excellent. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like. And what I like about this is this one doesn't have any segments, but a, a transcript. So your students can see it as it's being spoken. And you know, they just play it. It's only 12 minutes long, not long at all. And I think it's great. But here's the really cool thing. What? Different languages. So you have a student that only speaks, I don't know, Russian. Um, <laughs> but the what's happening here, you can change it to whatever you want. Come on, there we go. And this is what it's going to look like in sheets of Spanish on this slide. So that's integrated into the platform. It looks like Google Translate. It is Google Translate. Oh. But look at this. Your transcript is all in whatever language. It is not. And this is true not only for this particular series. It's good for everything on Learn360. Very, any page can be changed over to um, a different language. And you can also uh, create a, a quick little quiz to put in. So one of the geniuses of that would be my Spanish speaking student listens to it in Spanish, listens to it in English, my Russian student in Russian and in English. No, they don't listen to it. Okay. It's going to be in English the whole time. The transcript. Closed caption. Closed caption is going to be in, in English. Okay. So so the this transcript is in, is in their language. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so you can't hear it ever in the language, in their primary language? No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, no. That's, I just no, that's still fantastic. That is still fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's Wood for chocolate. Let's go. Okay, what I want to show you, see how this number here? It's different than the one on the other slide because I, I worked on these slides last week. So it changes. It's gotten bigger already. All right. So I'm going to go here and I am going to put in can do English. And search. There we go. And the first thing that comes up, whoa, this is, wow, I know what I'm going to do. I wonder if I can do this. I'm, uh, this is control. There we go. All right. Can do English. This is this series. And here's just one of them. So let's go here so we get the whole list. And again, I told you it was 10 titles. And I'm going to do pull up this one. And we're going to play it just so you get the idea. Imagine oh you're goodness. in a supermarket. You've gathered all your items, but now it's time to check out. Oh. How oh, do you do it? Hi. Alicia here. Buying items at a supermarket in America is easy. In this lesson, you'll learn how. To stop by yeah. buying a few supplies after checking in at the hotel. We can Let's we watch. can hear the sound on Zoom just fine. Good evening. Evening. Excuse me, but what's this? It's a corn dog. I don't think it's the Zoom. Nice. How much is it? It's one dollar and thirty-seven cents. It's on sale. Okay, I'll take two. That'll be eighteen dollars and seventy-four cents. Okay, your change is six cents. Thanks, man. Now with subtitles. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Good evening. Evening. Excuse me, but what's this? It's a corn dog. Nice. How much is it? It's $1.37. It's on sale. Okay, I'll take two. That'll be $18.74. Okay, your change is six cents. Thanks, man. Here are the key words from the scene. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's the resource for the speaker? Excuse me. Here, let's go back but, to this. But, but. Here, I'm going to get rid of things, right? Okay. But. Well, I guess they can corn hear dog. it online. Corn and dog. And Michelle, you're saying you can hear it? Corn we dog. We can hear it just fine. Well, I can hear it anyway, so. We have to hum it now, Michelle. Corn dog. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, well, anyway, Thanks. the idea. Now it's going through Thanks. the um, actual language, the vocabulary. Thanks. Let me pull it up a little bit. Evening. Evening. Let's see how it Evening. Cool. But anyway, all right. So let me Evening. go. I'm gonna stop this. Nice. Okay. Nice. I think it's the place where you stop it. Nice. No. And there's. Let me go negative. Nice. Susan, you got the dollar end of the day. Dollar. Is that what I dollar. Dollar. Yeah. You can get rid of that one. Okay. I don't know why I have a bit logy. It's just like it went crazy. We've been on us. This is what happened yesterday at the end of the day on this. The server. Tired. It's tired. <laughs> it is tired. It's like, but it's not nice because you have so much going on. That's cool to see. Okay. Well, let's let's we, yeah. have, we also have chat and there was there was no chat login. I can hear too. We can hear. Okay, well, I'm glad you got to hear it. I just feel bad that I can't this is it. Orange. Yeah. Uh, for three years, I served as the uh, consortium so coordinator. I want this, and I want this. 
And then before that, I was in jumped around and. Oh, I wanted that for here. Financial aid, um, admissions and record. Oh, okay, but okay. Yeah, I'm. Um, when the job came, I applied and. No, yeah, it's cool. That's, yeah. Here, I'm going to. Challenges is blown. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How many students are working on? Anyway, well, which uh, we're going to go to the pause. And. Give or take uh, 25 GED students, a couple handful of ESL. Yeah. So, and we also have like, some fair classes and stuff that we want to do. Yeah, my school is small. Yeah. We Let's also go. have games and activities. And if you teach ABE, there's one in particular um, here. I think I'm going to do a made ear card. So let's take a look. And I want games and activities. And here is a made ear card. And what it does, it's a reading selection. And did you notice it's timed? They give them 20, 25 um, minutes. seconds. Minutes. Minutes. Seconds. Like I said, it took that long. <laughs> and then they read through it. It's a lot longer. Okay. And then they have to answer some questions. Um, when was Amelia Earhart born? I think it was, I don't know. Sorry, try again. Okay. Um, when her sister was two. Well, it's either correct. Okay, she was born be, be, before 1900. But do you see the smiley face and the X? Mm -hmm. And it also keeps track on how many I get right. Um, the other thing, there's 10 questions. And at the very bottom, I am sorry, people, I'm scrolling. <laughs> but down here, I want you to always look into educator resources. Um, here is a printable worksheet. So if you wanted to print out the reading selection for your students, you could get it, hard copy, and give to them. Also, um, there is a second one, Amelia Earhart's Great. So if you wanted to carry on with the theme, that's an option. Okay, so that's for ABE reading. And uh, let's do this, because here's the one. And you can gave me a score. I only got eight out of 10 when I did this last time. Um, and then I talked about this. So let's go back and take a look here. Um, these are math ones. That's so cool. Here's some games for and activities for social studies. Uh, language arts game. So there's a lot here. All right, so let's go. And I do want to show you. Um, I don't know. I think I, I feel like I've wasted a lot of time <laughs> with with problems. I mean, I, a silly question. Is this free? Yes. And is it because OTAN has a subscription? Mm -hmm. a consortium? Okay. Um, OTAN kind of subsidizes. I don't know what the correct word is, but they negotiate um, these different products. If you go um, on curriculum authors, mm -hmm. one of things. I mean, they're offering Canvas at a reduced price. You know, those are things that it really comes out of OTAN's budget. I hate to say it, but it does. And that's what they're paying for. It's whatever they see that the field needs. And this is amazing. I mean, Learn 360 is one of my favorites. But you don't have to be part of the consortium. No, you have to. The only thing you have to do is to work for an agency in California. Oh, so since there's a yes. question um in the there's a question in the chat do i need to make an account before you leave today we'll show you how to make an account so you'll know how to make an account th right. through otan yes and i think i found a paper on, on one of my flash drives that shows us exactly how to do it so i think we can do this okay 
Um, all right. I want to show you a few more. This is a um, math series. Um, linear functions, an introduction, understanding ratio and proportion, Pythagorean's theorem. So if you have a high school class you're, you're teaching and need math. Um, something I wanted to show you. Here we go. This is just the fractions. I think I put the word fractions in. And um, if you notice over here, you've got lesson one, lesson two. Well, those are segments. And what they've done is they've taken a long video. And this one, sorry, I'm going to have to move you over a little bit. Um, what does it say? It's 22 minutes long. But you know what? I don't have 22 minutes in class. So I can do one segment. So let's say I want to do lesson two, adding and subtracting fractions with different denominator. It's only two minutes and 44 seconds. I can put that in. So you can break it up into little pieces. And up here is all the things you can do with it, share, save. And I think Michelle will go into that. So I'm not gonna say any more about that. Let's go up. There's even experiments. <laughs> I've always wanted to, to do the one on popcorn. <laughs> I, I've always thought that's, that would be fun. It would be. Mm -hmm. Marjorie's on her way. Oh, I don't think I need something. You don't think you need it? Not anymore. We have some chat, too. The, what do you got? There's there's chat, but there's no um, way for me to access the Zoom. Is that well, I think Michelle's monitoring our chat. Oh, are you, Michelle? Yeah. Don't take care of chat. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway. It's... Michelle, did you want to say something? Well, the the comment is we hear the OTAN staff while the video is playing. I mean, we can hear you and the video, but it sounds like the audience, live audience there couldn't hear the video. So right. That was a problem. We're getting we're getting help getting it fixed though. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, so there's experiments that you could use in class. Um, the other thing that is really kind of exciting. Um, this was during COVID. How do you teach cosmetology? How do you teach to, to compare? I was surprised. They've got videos, there's a lot. So if you pull, put in cosmetology, there's all kinds of videos. And the other one that I was really surprised about I don't know why I put this one in, but this is automotive. Well, automotive, um, these are tests that they have to take um, to get certified. And they're there that, to help them study for the test. Do they have change of tire? I need that one. You need that one? <laughs> uh, I have brakes. I got two and brakes, engine diagnosis. They don't have all of them. I used to work in an assessment center and I actually gave the test to the, the automotive class. They would come in once a quarter and take two tests. And so then they would get a certificate and that was their ticket. We had problems with, they could hear it um, online, but they couldn't hear the audio in the hear. Is that good enough? Yeah. This. Now you should be able to hear. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I I got everyone in here. I tell you, that's what that sound was. I was trying to get everybody in here, and it was the the sound that you heard was yes, we're coming to Calvary. <laughs> Great. Did you want to play one, or did you want to? Well, we could. Let's go back here. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to hear the math? Yeah. He's a math teacher. He's a math teacher. Yeah. Math. See a math game. He wants to see a math game. Please. I said please. I did. I meant to. Did I not? No. I want to know. I want to see math. I said I want to see math. I haven't looked at the math games that much, but here's math activities. Yes, math activities. Mm -hmm. And this is free, free through. Okay. I got it. I can't believe it. This is by grade. 
she also got a stuff it out there. Yeah. All right. See anything? Any jurors up now? Yeah, line anything? graph, please. A oh, line. Line graph on the right. No, not in the zone. Up, 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 right there. The line graph. Yeah. Yeah. We could build like a whole boot camp with this. <laughs> we did a math boot camp this summer. How'd it go? It was good. It was in Spanish. Nice. Yeah, we got okay. um, math I assume it's a student pass the GD math. So I have a feeling it, it goes, it's interactive in the sense that we're going from. Yeah, not all of them are videos. Yeah. But anyway, but. There's something else I wanted to show you along the way. So I'm going to go back to here. And this is what, this is the new thing. This is the exciting thing is the, the uh, classroom video on demand. And it's academic content that is more suitable for our adult students. So let's take a look. And it is found right here under the premium content, all right? So if you just want classroom video on demand, that's where you would find it. But if you put it in the search, all right, you do a, a keyword search, you're gonna get things that are Learn360 and things that are um, classroom video on demand. So I would suggest that you, Try first and then see which ones look like. You can also, she's going to talk about this, but you can do it by um, grade level, age, some grade, yeah, um, which is cool. All right. Now, I want to take you there. Oh, come on. Yeah. No, it's... There we go. I want this. And I want this. And when I click that the star, the premium, this is the one we want. And it's got 28,000. But these are featured videos. I can browse by subjects. And what I thought was interesting is there's 215 for calculus. Who needs calculus in their class? <laughs> Can you do? <laughs> I got people counting on the fingers. Did you, you want to what what is that one of those? Well, they're videos. Oh, okay. Well, no, they're I don't know that they're featured videos. Um, yeah. Is there is there a video that shows you how to like dark chocolate covered almonds? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but if you take a look, look at the science. I could not show this on a on a slide. No, it's a ton. It's a ton. All right. Just so you know. And uh Michelle, do you want me to select one or do you wanna you're gonna take it from here, right? I can take it from here, but you could select one and show them. Okay. You you're up. What do you want? Uh, I'm a biology major, so biology. 1,561 videos. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot. Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but notice it's premium. So if I had a regular no, account, that wouldn't come with it? If you had, like, if you have account. to have an OTAN account, okay. it'll be there. <laughs> Well, I mean, you can get your own, um, but you'd be paying for it. Yeah. But anyway, um, so here's what we're looking at. And so, question again. This, so the teachers have access, so the students have access as well? Right, because they're going to share it with their... So you can put it in um, what I like. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Let's go to autism. <laughs> um, it goes directly into Google Classroom very, very quickly, very easily. Um, 
And you can also share it a bunch of ways. So the student doesn't necessarily have the account to see all this stuff. Uh, the they can have an account, all right, but they don't have to. You're going to, and the, I know one year we did it such that we took a textbook and it was English. Um, I think it was a lot of grammar. And so what we did was chapter by chapter, um, we created, we found videos and we, we made it a linkable PowerPoint so that it accompanied the book. But you can make folders. You get your own personal account, you make a folder. Um, these are all the videos that I like for chapter one. And these are all the videos for chapter two. Uh, however you wanna arrange it. I mean, you, you can set it up any way you want. So I am going to relinquish my control. So I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm going to hand it over and let's go big while we're at it. Okay, Michelle, it's all yours. Hi, everybody. For those of you that weren't here when I was introduced, I'm Michelle Faber. I, I come from InfoBase. Learn360 is one of our products. And I'm just going to go over the site today a little bit and help you a little bit figure out how to search for things. Because obviously, if we have, well, here I have 190,000 assets. I must not be on my right site here. I don't have the premium content here at the moment, but um, you should see the, you guys will see the um, classroom video on demand. But right now, what I just have is the Learn360 link here. But um, when you're in Learn360 and you happen to be an OTAN site is you will see classroom video on demand right underneath Learn360 right here. Um, that my cache file held the wrong account in there. So I'll, when I go back out, I'll get into the right account. But let's talk a little bit about the interface here. Um, when you come in, one thing I want to point out, um, when you come to the uh, site is these are something called sliders. And those of you that are there from OTAN, um, you can create your own custom sliders, um, whoever is the administrator on OTAN's account. So if you wanted to highlight something for a particular month or for a particular week or whatever, you can customize these sliders if you want to. Um, so that's something you might want to pass on. But uh, we have really good... Uh, Acquisitions, our acquisitions team is really good about highlighting new content here and based on, for example, March is Women's History Month. So we have all these um, videos that are related to Women's History Month or resources. We have St. Patrick's Day. Um, obviously, this is a K through 12 item. So you're going to see um, things that are both for K through 12. But if you have ESL, um, uh, ELL, it's called now, you can tell how long I've been around. Um, content, some of that elementary content would be um, appropriate for your ELL students because they're learning beginning reading, et cetera. Um, we have our featured uh, STEAM activities, our featured social emotional learning, elementary, high school, et cetera. So I would go in and uh, just scroll down the website so it gives you an idea of what's, what's available. Um, because we are always adding content. We add content continually. And we also are removing old content if we find something that isn't used a lot. We might have something that has, let's say, a 20, uh, 2012 copyright, but if it's still in use, we're not going to pull that off the site. Um, so when you're on this main page, if you do want to put some filters in, if you click on this little hamburger menu right here, you can filter if you want to just look at our anything that is designated as six through 12. Um, you can filter everything out. And so then you'll notice if I go back here it to the main page, it says middle and high school educational resources. But again, if you're doing if you have students that need that upper elementary or ELL students that need that lower stuff, you might not want to filter that material out. But you'll notice one thing when you have this filter on. Um, when I click on the mailbox here, the mailbox is only for elementary. So that's our only of our elementary resources there. So that's something that is going to be missing um, when you go in there. And some of the games and activities are going to be gone also because most of our games and activities are kind of that pre-K through sixth grade level. So just so you're aware that if you do put that filter in, you're going to lose something. So it's really up to you whether you want to do that filtering feature. 
The other thing up on this menu up on the top left, if you the only place that you can find this nice calendar feature is right here. So this is a calendar feature. And what this does is obviously has uh, videos related to a particular date in time. So today is um, March 3rd and it's Alexander Graham's, Alexander Graham Bell's birthday and it's World Wildlife Day. So if I click on this, this has those videos related to World Wildlife Day. So that is, that's kind of fun. I mean, um, with you with adult ed, I always, when I'm teaching a K through eight or something, I say, oh, this is a good activity as the students go into the classroom and then you can discuss it, but you might not use that type of resource. I'm gonna go back to all grades when I do the filtering here. And let's talk a little bit about um, browsing. Um, Susan already showed you some browsing, but I just wanna show you that you can browse by a number of different ways. You're probably not gonna see the web videos or the custom videos here. This is if OTAN would decide to put, uh, subscribe to certain web things such as Khan Academy, they can customize that. So they show up right here in Learn360. So it's a one-stop shop. Um, if you know that there's a particular producer you like, you can browse by that particular producer if you're looking for a certain title. And then you can also browse by subjects, which we did a little bit ago. So I wanted to go into earth science here. When you've come into one of these, uh, when you come into one of these browse screens, um, if you want to look at content uh, based in what's the newest to the oldest, you can click up here and you can always go newest to oldest, A to Z, most viewed, et cetera. So that's one thing you can filter when you're looking for items. So if I click newest to oldest, you're going to see our newest copyright. So we just actually did uh, upload a bunch of stuff recently that is that is pretty new. And I'm going to scroll down because I'm looking for a particular one here. Um, this Earth Surface Rocks, um, this, I'm going to click on this right here. And uh, when Susan was talking about educator resources, this particular, these educator resources are created by the producers. So one thing I do want to point out with the educator resources, they're all a little bit different. Um, this happens to be a pretty good educator resource. That's what I, why I want to show it. It's, it gives you a study guide. It talks about before you even watch the video, um, what you want to discuss with your students. Um, and it's got different questions that the students are going to learn in, learn as they watch the video. So you could give that to the students before they watch the video. And then after the screening, it talks about different items after the screening. And then it's got some other resources and other information. So every producer, these are going to be a little bit different. But if you think you want to find those guides to use in with your students, if you go up to this advanced search right here, and I scroll down to the bottom here, and you're gonna see that I only wanna show programs that have educator resources. So let's say if I click here to all grades, so I'm gonna go to that nine through 12th grade, and I'm gonna go to, I'll just do health and guidance, and I'll do uh, the human body personal care and hygiene, for example, you'll notice I have 146 different results. And then when you see that 146 different results, you'll see that they all have educator resources. And then if I click on this particular educator resource, you'll notice that this one looks a little bit different than the last one. Um, this one actually has the minutes of the particular program. So that's how you can find those educator resources if you need one. The other thing, if you're doing any type of sort or any type of filter, you'll notice right here is I've done this particular filter that has 146 results. If you wanna share those titles or you wanna post those titles up in Google, in a Google spreadsheet or something like that, you can click on export all titles here. And that's going to give you a spreadsheet of those titles in that particular search. So if you want those. Now, something I was thinking out, I'm going totally off, <laughs> off slideshow here right now, Susan. Um, I do have a really nice, and I think I might have shared this with someone at O10. I do have a really nice uh, spreadsheet of ELL titles. Um, 
because I've had to do a number of presentations with that. And I can, uh, Susan, if, you, if I share that with you, can you get it to the right people? Because that's going to have m many of our ELL titles for people that are teaching ELL. Okay, so I'll do that. So I'm going to go back to the advanced search and give you a couple other uh, search tips. I think most of you have used databases and you're, you're pretty good at filtering here if you want to. The other thing that's nice to filter out is if you want to see the recently added videos. So these are going to be only the videos that I've done in the last 30 days. So you'll notice that we have uploaded 547 new videos in the last um, 30 days. So we are always... Um, uploading videos, getting new content. Um, these, the new ones that we got recently actually are, um, most of them are elementary right now, but you can go in and you can see that particular result, results, and then you can filter down. So if you know that you are in six through eight or nine through 12, so you'll notice we've only had five new ones in the last 30 days that are in that um, high school, middle school grade level. So that's in your filtering down there. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen. Susan, do you want me to go over um, creating the account and and the tools in the videos, or do you wanna do that? I wanna do the accounts because I have to go through OGEN's website. Okay, let me talk a little bit about saving and creating your own particular account here. Or do you wanna do the account first? No, I wanna do the account first. Okay. So okay. what Susan's going to talk about, she's going to talk a little bit about how we, once you create your account, if you want to save things. So she was talking about if you wanted to save yeah. in a folder or a playlist, yeah. that's yours. you can create this account here and you can go up to my content. And what that's going to do is you can save this stuff. So as you're perusing the site, you can start saving items. So if you know that you're going to have an, uh, a math lesson on fractions, you can start saving those items. And there's two, there's two different, three different types of things you can do here. Well, actually there's four, but um, you, can, you can create just folders that would just have all content, printables, videos, audio files, everything, or you can have playlists and playlists are audio files and video files. So I'll let Susan share, cause she's gonna have you guys create accounts and then we can go up and, and look a little bit more at this. So, okay. I'm gonna, what? I'm going to stop sharing then. Yeah, go ahead and stop sharing. And I want them to get a device. And I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to go to OTAN. So, you're going to want to share your screen so that the people on Zoom can see it. You're right. So, let's go to Zoom. Come on. Just go to OTAN.us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm sharing my screen. Sounds. Uh, there we go. Cool. You want to get your free account? Yes. And you don't want your free account. You came here. You sat through the presentation. No. Oh, no. Take my money. <laughs> I, tell you, I don't see how I'm logged into OTAN, though. You know, just go to OTAN.us. And that's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. OTAN US. Okay. okay, that's it. That's it. That's fine. It this is login. It doesn't want to take my. No, let's go to resources. Yes, resources. And then you're going to select curriculum offers. Yes. Okay, we're good now then. We're good. Good. So now that you're on curriculum offers, you need Learn 360. Okay, here it talks about it. It's brand new, the classroom video on demand. And when you get down to the very bottom, I don't want to go too fast on this thing. If you are interested in signing up for an account, you want an account? Yes. Okay. Please fill out the OTAN 1260 plus classroom video on demand account request form. So click on it and fill it out. It doesn't ask for a whole lot except for where you teach that type of information. You <coughs> might be an adult ed 
educate, well, you don't have to be an educator, you can be staff. You have to work for a adult education agency. And that is, I, that is part of the license. You do need to work for an adult education agency. So yeah, that, that's all right. So if you are from out of state, that which could be online, please do not sign up for an account. Um, Anthony will go through all of these and uh, you'll get kicked out. Yes. Um, and then when you get to the very end, there's going to be a little link on the last page. So if you get through it all, you click that link and that'll tell you the um, there is a generic login. And it'll give you a username and a passcode. That's what you want. And everybody's going to have the same one. I'll give you a couple of minutes to do that. How are we doing online? Let's see what's going on. Go chat previews. I know I'm seeing that's why they don't let me. Oh, here we go. Do I need to make an account? Yes, you do. I want everyone to make an account. If you are uh, adult educator in California, which you know what? I think most people that are at this conference are. Oh well, I'm not doing very well with the chat. All right. I don't they didn't think there's anything in chat at the moment. So okay. So are we getting it? <laughs> well, there's some other things I can show you while you're getting closer. Let's go to the PowerPoint. And we did that. We did that. That was by subject. She did that. That was by subjects. I think we have to do the share the buttons, the share buttons. Yeah, I'm gonna find that soon. Here we go. Here is um a video. All right. What I'm going to talk about is these buttons across the top. I want to do that. Save, uh, share, save, site, segments, standards, and Google Classroom. Um, this is what is there. So if I click on share, I can email the link to this video. I can copy the link or I can embed it in my presentation or in my uh, LMS. Save, I can put it in a folder. All right. In my account, there is a folder. So you can make a playlist. I want my students to watch this and then this and then this. Um, they have classes, it's not used that much anymore, but you can also download. And then if you go over here to um, share to the classroom, you just have to select which classroom. Um, mine automatically pops up and I can put it into a classroom. So it'll give you your cho choices because you are logged in. Susan, can I make a comment about the download? So um, the download is, you can download, if there's a download button, that means that we have the license to do that. There's some producers and some people we get content from that doesn't give us that option. So if you, you're not going to see the download button on everything, um, but there's a, a good majority of items have download option, just so you know that. And then as long as OTAN still has the license or the Learn360 subscription, that means that you can put them in a PowerPoint or students can use them in other media if they want to, as long as the license is active. Does that go the same with Google Classroom? Is Google Classroom for all of it across the board? He's asking about Google Classroom. Can they in, well, in Learn 360? Yes. Um, you you if you're logged into your Google account, like if I click on Google Classroom right now, I'm logged into my Google account, it automatically pops up to my Google Classroom. I can pick the class and create an assignment just like I do in regular Google Classroom. I 
I think the issue is, is it secured? In other words, you don't want to put it up on, on a, uh, a website where everybody- Oh, yeah. Please don't do that. <laughs> but you've got uh, Google Classroom. You, if you, it's within, it's protected. Your students get, can get in and can watch these videos. I was just thinking of the limitation of how she said that some content has certain features and some content doesn't, but that feature is across the whole board. The Google well, Classroom is across the whole board, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In uh, this particular product, yes. Mm -hmm. You can also email it. All right. But you know what? I did this. And um, it doesn't look very exciting to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just me. Um, here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, this one here, link is copied to your clipboard. Um, embedding, oh, I like the way it's embedded, but you can decide what size. How big, how big do you want it? You want a, a large, small, and here's the code, you just copy it. All right, let me see. And here's download, download the title. Um, this is kind of neat. Uh, remember the little scissors? You can create your own. In other words, I only want it from this point to this point. All right. So you can decide what's going to be shown. So I want to start here. I want to end here. I give it a title. And then what it is, it's saved to my account. All right. It's just mine. That's what I want. All right. And we got to be be sure to go over uh, Canvas too, because we have about five minutes left. We have five minutes left? Or okay. four minutes left. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. But I got to tell you how to get in to get your account. Okay. I haven't told you that part yet. I, I got prompted with this document. Did you get it? And you got the. We have to go further in. No, that you have to get into Learn360 to yeah. get your account. Yeah. Okay, just write down the password and the um, the search. What is it? The username and the password. I have five minutes. What can I do in five minutes? Search. I don't want that. Okay, we did two. Well, I want Canvas. All right, so we're going to do Canvas. And okay, Canvas. Log in. Oh, good job, Susan. I'm trying. <laughs> no, I'm just... Come back later. Yeah, I will come back sometime. And I want, no, where's my unpublished chess? Okay, this is if you have, this is the important part. Um, you are going to, let's say I'm going to add an assignment. Okay, add assignment. And I give it a name, whatever. I don't care about that. I want, it must be over here. There, see the plug? Looks like an electric plug. Those are apps. And I've been going to, they have them separate now, but it will pick up the premium if you do through here. Because you, OTAN has both products, if you go to Learn360, it will also suit search classroom video on demand. And here, I just put in what I'm searching for. I think I usually put, I don't know what I did with, here it is. Internet safety. I'm just going to put fractions. <laughs> I got somebody that's mad here. Huh? I'm not, I'm okay, so now I'm inside Canvas and I'm getting my master's in biology right now. Ooh. Um, I can preview. All right, I preview the, the video, I like it, and so I say let's embed it. And I then I can embed, embed it directly in. 
You have something embedded at large? Come on. Probably because I didn't give it a name. But anyway, it'll go directly into your assignment. Um, I usually like a, a please um, preview. Uh, please watch the following video. Um, be prepared to discuss on Monday. Whatever. All right. So there's that. And now let's, I'm going to get out of here because I want to take you to, um, let's go to. <coughs> There are tutorial videos to, to demonstrate what you just did. Yes. There are? Okay. No. Cool. If you go to um, the tutorial help button on the question mark. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I want you to put in the username and the password. You are going to learn360.info base. I'm still talking. No. <coughs> the school. And I'm still talking. No. There's no time. 450 is when we're supposed to end. And it is 450 in 28 seconds. They have to lock up the school. Okay. I'm sorry. At the time, at the tone, the, at the, tone, the time will be 450 yes. in so, 20 seconds. Do you have okay. people online? Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. Uh, we have to end this meeting. Because we have a time limit, <laughs> we have to we have to close Thank down so the school, and it's more busy. So I'm sorry, Susan's still talking. But guess what? Susan can be asked to do a webinar and an in-person workshop at your site if it's in California on 360. Lots of good stuff. But we have. And I to can do also do it uh, virtually if anybody's interested. So and there you go. And there you go too. Yes. Michelle, so, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>